Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. This the second video, being part of the Bluestacks automation series, where I will guide you to automate boring tasks and replicate them in real time using Bluestacks. Would you like to be hunting infected while you are busy at work? Would you like to be hunting infected while you are busy with real life chores? Would you like to be hunting infected while you are asleep? Now let me show you how you can set this up using Bluestacks in 10 steps. You can download and play State of Survival using Bluestacks by clicking on the link in the description below. The beauty with this is that you only need to do this once. So the time you spend doing this correctly will be worth it. Now there are two ways of doing this, I'm going to show you my method only by using one march with Travis to maximize your stamina. As such it is important that you set your troops formation and have Travis in it and ensure this is saved down. Step 1. Use Random Relocator. Step 2. Select the search function for infected. Now set the highest level of infected that you can kill. If your highest level is level 28, make sure you select this. I have realized that the furthest infected is about 80 kilometers, it's important that you understand the timing of your marches to the infected and the return time. In my example using the 80 kilometers, it takes about 3 minutes and 30 seconds to attack the infected the furthest and return back to the settlement. Step 3. Turn on the macro. You will see the macro running on the top bar of the Bluestacks program. Now, wait until the timer hits 2 minutes, the reason being is you want to give some space so that you have your march back in your settlement before the automated program executes the steps again. Step 3. When the timer hits 2 minutes, select the search function for the infected, it should automatically open at the highest level of infected that you can kill. In my case, being level 30. Then slowly, execute the steps that you would normally complete and using the formation saved with Travis to attack the infected. Step 4. Don't do or click anything else and just wait patiently until the timer hits 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Why you may ask? We waited 2 minutes at the start, we needed 3 minutes and 30 seconds for the march to attack the infected and return back to your settlement. Then before sending out another march we are waiting 2 minutes before you executing the next attack march. This will avoid any issues or problems when the macro runs in a loop. Step 5. When the timer hits 7 minutes 30 seconds, select the search function for the infected, again execute the steps that you would normally complete and using the formation saved with Travis to attack the infected. Step 6. One last time, don't do or click anything else and just wait patiently until the timer hits 13 minutes. Then select the search function for the infected, reduce the level by 1, then execute the steps that you would normally complete. Step 7. Wait until the timer hits 16 minutes and 30 seconds, and then you can now stop the macro. Step 8. Name your macro and save this. Step 9. Go to the settings button, on repeat execution, change the radio button to infinity until stopped. Then click save. Step 10. You can now run the macro. Just remember to repeat step 1 and step 2, before you start the macro, when you logged into state of survival the first time for the day. Well, with this, you can sit back, relax, wash the dishes, or have a nap, whilst Bluestacks does the job for you hunting the infected. That's all folks, you can download and play State of Survival using Bluestacks by clicking on the link in the description below. If you like my videos, please do subscribe, leave a comment and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.